Hello Year 9. Today I'm going to give you a bit of a rundown on Desmos because I want to use it um, for today's piece of work. Um, it's dead simple to use. All you've got to do is go to the website, desmos.com, uh, and then this will come up, your grid paper. And then in here, in this input bar, this is where you type in your sum to plot the function. Okay. So as an example, if I was to type in any sum that I like, if I do y equals 2x, it comes up right away. Okay, there it is. And if I want to get rid of it, you just press the x. Okay. Uh, now, this sum, what I've done, this produces a straight line, like the work that you did yesterday. Um, if I change the sum to something that's more complicated, it might not produce a straight line. So if I were to do y equals x squared instead, then that produces that graph there, which is curvy. So we're just going to stick to straight lines, but you've got to know uh, what, the, what the algebra needs to look like um, to make the equation of a straight line. Okay. Now, a lot of you might already know this. I'm just going to get rid of that. Um, if you want to produce a straight line, then the equation has to look a certain way. It has to look like this. So let me write it down. Okay. So all straight lines have this form, which you may have seen before. Okay. So what I've done here, these boxes represent numbers. Uh, that you can change, and but it will always produce a straight line. Now, typically, you'd see it written a little bit different. You don't normally have boxes written in, so normally you'd see it written like this. It would be y equals m x, and then you'd see it as plus c as well. Okay, so that's how we typically look at the, the equation of a straight line. M and c are numbers that go in there. Okay, and it's your job to figure out um, in the investigation uh, what do these numbers do. Okay, when you change the numbers, uh, how does it change the picture of what you've got on the grid? Okay, uh, so let's do a couple of more examples. If I want to plot another straight line, I just need to pick two numbers here and here. So let's do y equals five x minus three. Okay, it doesn't have to be a positive number. Okay, these values can be negative as well. So there's my negative number, and it makes that green line. Okay, let's change it again. Let's do something else. Y equals, I'll make the x is negative this time. I'll do minus x uh, minus 1. And that's that purple line there. Okay, what that means then, this one, um, my m value, well, because it's minus x, that's the same as minus 1x. So my m value there would be minus 1, and the c value would be minus 1 as well, because it's over there. Okay. Um, I can change things around as well. I can do y equals 3 minus 4x. Okay. Now this time I've written the x's on the end, but it's still in this form because it's just minus 4 lots of x. And then I've got a positive 3 as well. So I, that still counts as a straight line. Okay. And if I get rid of some of these, last one I want to do, if I do x plus y equals uh, 4, then although it doesn't look exactly like this, it's still a straight line because what I can do with this equation is I can rearrange it to make it into the proper form, to make it look like this. And to do that, I'm going to subtract x. So if I do that on both sides, if I take away x, and if you take away x on this side, then you're going to end up with y left on this side because the x and the minus x have cancelled out. And on the right hand side, you've got the 4 still, but then you've subtracted x. OK, so sometimes you might need to rearrange your straight line to put it into this uh, familiar shape. OK, but that describes a straight line. All right, so what I want to do, I want to um, play about with Desmos. I want to look at the um, investigation you've got to do. And when you plot all three of these on the same uh, graph, uh, I want you to write down what you notice, uh, what links these three things together, and then see if you can kind of generalize it to a pattern. Okay, what's going on when, when you ask to do all of these things? Okay, the ones at the end, at the bottom here, these are a little bit harder. But again, if you clear the page, plot them both, and then look at how the two graphs are linked together. Okay, what's the link between the two? Okay, and at the bottom, you write down what you figured out. Okay, best of luck, Year 9. Thank you very much.